Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Learn to Become an Animator. Today I am going to show you how you can create wonderful animation with effects in a blender. Let's begin. First, go to the Miximo.com and download the animation. You can select your character from here. I have selected this character, Racer. Go to Animation tab. Select your animation. You have to select two clips of animation for this. You can search animation from here. Fast run. Download two clips. One with the skin. Another is without skin. After downloading, just go to Blender. Go to Blender and import both the clip. Just import FBX. Fast run and jump over. After importing the clips, you have to merge the both clips. You can refer this tutorial to merge both the clips. I have explained everything in detail how you can merge two clips into the blender. When you merge both the clip, run and the jump, your animation will look like this. Now you can see the character is running and jumping over. To make it more interesting, I have added few elements here. Now import the assets. You can import the assets from the add-ons. I like the add-ons. One is a sketch pip and another is blender kit. Both are wonderful add-ons for the blender. You can directly import any assets into the blender just typing and searching into the blender itself. Go to the add-on. Just active the add-on. Search here laptop. You can see there are many options appears here. Just select any and import into your scene as I have done and place and compose your character. Now you can see my character is jumping through because I have decided the character will jump and the glass, the screen is going to break. So character will come through the screen. You can animate the camera as well. You can see I have animated camera like this. Yeah, character is running jumping through the screen and the screen gets break to get this effects of breaking the screen in the blender we have add-ons called cell fracture you can switch on this add-on by going into the preferences search here and you can switch on the add-on to create this effects add a cube rotate scale and reposition as it fits into the laptop screen go to the edit mode and add subdivisions to create a screen breaking effects to indicate the center of the screen from where it will break, we have to add some annotations. To add the annotations, just select the annotations and draw from the center. If you can't see the annotation, just go here and switch on the annotations. And while drawing, if it is not drawing exactly on the surface, then you have to just go here and select the surface placement select the surface then it will show exactly on the surface now draw some annotations like this why we are drawing like this because i want the screen to be break broken from the center so we are just annotating that it will break from the center now go to object apply the add-on quick effects cell fractures you can change the settings here the source limit is 100 noise you can do it 1 recursion setters 1 then say apply now you can see our screen is broken but it's equally broken so I want from the annotation let's go to Quick effects and apply again. Cell fractures. 
This time I am going to select the annotations pencil and apply. Now you can see the small pieces started from the center and big pieces has the divided. Now we have a two screen here. You can hide it this one. Now select any piece from the screen. Go to physics property, apply rigid body, active. Then press B, select all the piece. Now this time we are selecting the laptop also. So just I would suggest just go and switch off the laptop. Select the whole screen. Object, rigid body, apply from active. So it will apply to everything. Now play. Now you can see everything falls down. Why it's falling here? Because I have already placed one ground plane here. That's why it's falling on the plane. You can see this plane is there. That's why it's falling on that plane. So you also can create one plane and apply the rigid body passive to that plane. So it will fall on the plane. But we don't want like this. We want our character to be hit here and the pieces will just follow the character. For that, we have to animate one object or we can create our character itself a rigid body. But adding one dummy object will be very helpful. I have added one spear and animated that. When we are playing this, it should not fall everything. It should stay here and when this spear will hit to the screen, then the pieces will go off. For that, just select all the pieces go to deactivate start from start deactivated then go to object rigid body apply from active now you can see everything is staying there and i have animated the spear so the when the spear will hit our pieces will go off switch off the annotation you can switch off the annotation from here now switch on the character so we can see how interact with the screen. So when the character is going to touch the screen, I have animated and timed out this sphere such a way by adjusting these keys. You can see the screen breaking at the same time when the character comes out. After doing that, you can switch off the sphere. Now no, there is no requirement of the spear. So now you can see our screen breaks when the character hits through the screen. Now you can switch on the laptop so it will give even more realistic effects. How to hide this screen, this broken screen before it's breaking? To do that, remember if we have hidden the new screen which we have created just switch on that and we have to animate this visibility for this screen before that just scale up the screen little bit so we will not see the broken screen here now go to the object property visibility and animate the visibility let's find the exit frames frame 44 This key go to next frame of that screen key again now you can see while rendering the animation you will not able to see the screen the broken screen just will see the main screen and when the character passes through we can see the broken screen this way you can create the effects here before we do the lighting for the scene just add a background I have added the background here the asset name is SCIFI corridor you can find the link in the description for the sketch fab you can just type into the sketch fab add-on add here you can find and download it or you can directly add into the scene 
you can see here you can just click here and download and import into the assets go to the shaded mode keep here select the render engine cycles so that real time rendering and lighting you can see into the viewport add some interest in lighting to make it the scene more beautiful and the dynamic go to the camera angle and render few frames now you can add the hdri and the background in the scene go to this world property you can click here on the color tab environment texture open or the new go to hdri which you have your own collection just search if you know the name i am going to put this hdri here now you can see in the background to adjust this you can go to the shader editors select the world, world node here of the hdri just go to z and you can rotate the hdri whichever the position you like as per the position and the rotation you can see the light is affecting to the scene you can see based on the rotation the lighting is going to affect the scene whichever the way you like it just skip and we can render with the background to render the animation go to render property click here render engine just set to the cycle here you can set it to gpu if your gpu is compatible then go here in the render tab do it the final one select the denoise now go to the output property select the path wherever you would like to save your images accept it just check the size 1920 by 1080 and 100% fps of your scene and the frame range then go to the render and render animation then you will find all the rendered images in your folder after that you can just compose everything into the after effect or the premiere after compositing in the premiere and added to transition you can see our final animation here if you like my tutorial don't forget to subscribe and share thank you